Welcome back. Haiti's prime minister has stepped down and an interim is now in place, paving the way for a new government to be formed in the Caribbean country. Now, this comes as the country continues to deal with gang violence there. Steve Litz explains how local elected leaders are eager to help in the transition process. Haiti's economy and finance minister, Michel Patrick Boisvert, named the country's interim prime minister. Also today, a transitional council is now in place. Broward State Representative Marie Woodson, a native of Haiti and looking to help. Because we know a lot of things that we would like to see in our own country, even though we're not living there, but we know what part of a country is. We know we don't have to be corrupted to run Haiti. Some of us should have been involved in the decision-making process. Unfortunately, that did not happen. And this is why I have some skepticism about what's going on. The outgoing prime minister, Ariel Henry, submitted his resignation letter today from Los Angeles. The nine-person panel will look to establish a national security council and, of course, address other critical needs in the country, which has been racked by gang violence for some two months. And Gerson, the, as far as the crime goes... On the phone with me, Gerson Joseph from Orlando, but deported to Haiti, he says, for missing immigration court dates. I don't even know how to actually get a identification card. They drop us over here with no travel documents. I don't even have a people that can identify who I am right now, where I'm at. After we are able to restore the security and the stability in Haiti, start seeing some interaction, for example, between the universities here and the universities in Haiti, the colleges here, the colleges and university, the businesses, the small businesses here, you know, big business in Haiti. One of the main gang leaders down in Haiti is still insisting that those armed groups have a say in the country's future. Live in North Miami, I'm Steve Litz, NBC6 News.